My Hero Academia creator Koei Hirokoshi recently attended San Diego Comic Con and we got some interesting details or facts if you want to call it that. Some of it you might be familiar with but if not then hopefully after this video you will be. Koei Hirokoshi is a huge Spider-Man fan, having purchased a life-size bust carnage and one time he went to see Amazing Spider-Man 2 in the theaters in a Spider-Man costume. That's just passion right there. In college, Hirokoshi entered a submission contest for Shonen Jump and submitted his work once. Yes, of course he won. That's not much of a surprise, right? Considering that there are a lot of submission contests at that time and he only submitted once and nailed it, I think that just speaks for the caliber Hirokoshi produces. That eventually got the ball rolling for him and everything was uh, history. Hirokoshi loves Dragon Ball as a kid. Of course, everybody loves Dragon Ball, especially Dragon Balls. Wait, what? He would draw other characters or new characters that would fit in in the universe as well. In fact, he said that All Might is even based on Goku. With a certain callback to an older Superman, the ultimate existence, and he says that's why All Might has that kind of character design. Actually, Hirokoshi was surprised that Bakugo's character was very well received. He assumed that everyone would just hate him and yeah, I can see why. Bakugo's kind of a jerk especially in the first season but you actually understand and relate to him and his actions. And for one, I think his character development throughout the season is very well paced and grounding at times so you can really appreciate his part in this series and that's why everybody loves him. On the topic of being surprised, Inko Midoriya is another character that a lot of people adored and Hirokoshi didn't really expect that. He goes to say that he wanted Deku to be like every other kid with a worry warts mom and besides his mom is kinda like that too so I get it, it's kinda cute. And when it comes to Deku's father, Hisashi Midoriya, Hirokoshi addressed that it will be revealed later on in the future. And here I am hoping for a tad bit of information from his father at least. And a couple of bonuses before we end the video. Hirokoshi said that Gran Torino's figure in the current timeline resembles or pays homage to Yoda from Star Wars. If if Hirokoshi were to pick a character from Western comic book superheroes for a crossover, that is, you might go for Deadpool. And lastly, this might come as a surprise or not. Hirokoshi already has an ending for My Hero Academia. But what happens in between may vary as he goes on. And also for those of you who are wondering, he won't make it as long as One Piece. Because that's one long <gasps> If you want to go over the whole thing, of course, the links are in the description. That's it for this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.